my fingerprint on a project has more to do with how it how it is perceived and understood. I, I enjoy going back to projects of mine and finding that people are are living in them and, and how they live. So the, the, for me, the fingerprint is is often time will tell. The sort of the timeless nature of a of a home is to see it five years, ten years later, and and that people are are enjoying it. It's positively affected their life, and they have a appreciation for architecture. They learn something. We all learn something, but they learn something about architecture. It's sort of an opening of the eyes of the design process, of the materials, of the detail process, so that then they go look at other people's houses in a different way. Um, and so that, that fingerprint of changing their perception of architecture is uh, it's a fun one. Yeah, I'm a third generation San Franciscan architect, so um, my, my dad and my grandfather are both the practice architecture in San Francisco. I had a lot of conversations when I was a kid about what redwood, what redwood is and why it's a you know, material that uh, shrinks in a more stable manner and maintains its stability and is durable and so forth. This uh, uh, sort of architectural integrity of redwood. I love redwood because it's uh, interestingly a really great interior as well as exterior material. So inside it's uh, evocative, it's warm, it's rich. And it's a wood with some beautiful grain. Um, outside, it has the uh, characteristics that we are also familiar with of you know fences and decks and durability and rock resistance. So I think redwood is sort of, I mean, interestingly, both uh, kind of a classic structural material as well as a, a beautiful finished material. But uh, my favorite project was one I did where we used it inside and as a as a beautiful material for a library. It's kind of a panel paneling system in, in the library. We used a, a recycled old growth redwood, so it's really rich in its color. Um, and grain, and then in that same project, we actually used it at an exterior condition where it was a spa and some doors for the spa, so it was able to be used, you know, both again as its uh, beauty of material as well as its, um, you know, getting to the durability and, and uh, long-lasting characteristics of redwood, where it's not going to rot and uh, deteriorate. So that was a, that was a fun one. We were able to take advantage of its uh, innate characteristics. Mm -hmm.